Hi friends, once again welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today let us understand how is ATP synthesized in cellular respiration by chemiosmosis, the revolutionary hypothesis proposed by Peter Mitchell in 1960s. So please watch till the end for complete understanding. Let's begin. So first thing is to know the exact site of chemiosmosis and electron transport chain. As we all know, the organelle involved in electron transport chain is mitochondria. Let us zoom in this mitochondria. So mitochondria is having an outer membrane and an inner membrane which is having infoldings into the matrix which is called as cristae. The site of electron transport chain is the mitochondrial inner membrane and this is the first point. Now let us zoom in this region this inner membrane to find out the exact site of reactions in chemiosmosis. So as you can see protein complexes are embedded in mitochondrial inner membrane. So electron transport chain occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane. The electrons are donated by NADH and FADH2 that is formed during Krebs cycle and glycolysis. So the site of electron transport chain is mitochondrial inner membrane. Now the site of proton gradient formation is the intermembrane space that is the space between inner and outer mitochondrial membrane. Proton is pumped into the intermembrane space and this is the space where proton gradient formation occurs. The third point is ATP synthase, the enzyme involved in ATP synthesis is oriented towards the matrix side of the mitochondria. So ATP is synthesized towards matrix side. Hope this much is clear. Now moving into the hypothesis, chemiosmotic hypothesis. So this is the mitochondrial outer membrane and this is the mitochondrial inner membrane where protein complexes are located. As you can see mitochondrial inner membrane is having the protein complexes that is embedded. You can see complex 1 which is NADH dehydrogenase, then there is complex 2 succinate dehydrogenase, complex 3 cytochrome BC1 and complex 4 cytochrome C oxidase. According to Peter Mitchell's chemiosmotic hypothesis, these are the three major events happening. For ATP synthesis. First one is electron flow and energy release. Second, proton movement and gradient formation. And the third one is proton motive force driven ATP synthesis. Let us discuss each one step by step. Starting with electron flow. So after Krebs cycle, what we have is NADH and FADH2. As we know, 36 ATP molecules are synthesized per glucose molecule approximately. Only 4 ATP molecules are synthesized directly after Krebs cycle. So majority of ATP molecules, approximately 32 ATP molecules are synthesized during electron transport chain and chemiosmosis from the electrons donated from NADH and FADH2. Let us see what is actually happening. So this is NADH and NADH is donating electrons to complex 1. So this is actual reaction. NADH becomes NAD plus and H and it will provide H plus and electrons, protons and electrons. Now let us see the electron movement. Electrons are moved through different electron carriers like FMN, FES, etc. Then moving to complex 3 and complex 4 Finally, this is received, this electron is received by terminal oxygen forming water. So let me repeat once again, high energy electrons from NADH is donated to the complex 1 and it transfers through different electron carriers from complex 1 to complex 3 to complex 4. And finally, these electrons are received by oxygen forming water. Oxygen acts as the terminal electron acceptor. The same thing happens with FADH2 also. FADH2 becomes FAD. It provides 
protons and electrons electrons pass through complex 2 then to 3 then to 4 and finally received by oxygen forming combines with hydrogen forming water high energy electrons are donated by NADH and FADH2 as a result there is energy release as electrons move through different electron carriers from high energy to low energy state so this energy is used to pump protons from this side that is matrix side to the intermembrane space side you can see this is a movement of protons from matrix side to intermembrane space side so there are proton channels in between these protein complexes as cytochromes so there will be a difference in number of protons in intermembrane space and also matrix side this creates a proton gradient formation in the intermembrane space simply the number of protons in the intermembrane space increases compared to the number of protons in the matrix side thus creating a positive more positive charge this can be called as electrochemical gradient then the cell is having a tendency to make an equilibrium to neutralize this charge difference or this proton gradient so this H plus has a tendency to move out to the matrix the only way out is through this ATP synthase the enzyme that is involved in ATP synthesis as you can see this protons moves through the F0 region this is a proton channel of ATP synthase enzyme and F1 region is a catalytic site where ATP ADP and PI is having active sites so proton moves through F0 and H plus reaches this site just thus neutralizes and this proton movement creates an energy that energy is used for combining ADP and inorganic phosphate to ATP so the movement of proton which is called as proton motive force drives ATP synthesis hope this much is clear so three events so three events are actually happening in chemiosmosis let us summarize first thing is electron flow and energy release high energy electrons donated by NADH and FADH2 that is synthesized during Krebs cycle and glycolysis moves through different electron carriers and energy is released and that energy is used to pump protons from matrix side to the intermembrane space thus creating a gradient or electrochemical gradient then these protons should come out to matrix for neutralize or to make an equilibrium the only way out is through ATP synthesis the enzyme involved in ATP synthesis the movement of proton generates an energy and that energy is utilized for combining ADP and PI finally forming ATP so proton motive force driven ATP synthesis is happening during chemiosmosis so hope you got the point thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com